Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. So today we are going to discuss about the cloud-based integration application or tool. So we already discussed several times about this uh, SAP PI. It stands for process integration. And in some companies, we will use SAP PO. It stands for SAP process orchestration. So whenever we would like to transfer the data between SAP to non-SAP systems, then we need a middleware to seamlessly, easily transfer the data. For example, the vendor sending that data in ANSI X12 format to create a sales order in our system, right? The vendor pushing the data in the format of ANSI X12, which is not readable by SAP. To make it readable, we need to have middleware called either PI or PO. So PI or PO can read the data and convert that as an IDAC and share it with our SAP system. Right, so everywhere, and if you want to share that uh, order acknowledgement to the end customer as an IDAC, that time also output will be triggered in our order, and uh, then IDAC outbound IDAC will be triggered, it will go to PI, and the XML file will be shared with that vendor. Right, so everywhere we need to have the middleware to transfer the data. Similar way, recently, recently means it's a old one only. Old one means not that much old. It is in cloud-based. One more middleware has been introduced by SAP in 2012. Okay, that is SAP CPI. So CPI stands for Cloud Platform Integration. As the name saying that it is purely cloud based only. So you might ask why I am discussing this topic as of now. I have worked on several interfaces to transfer the data between non SAP systems. Like uh, I will send that order data, invoice data, delivery data to vendors through using different middlewares. Most of the times I have used in my projects, earlier projects, SAP PI or SAP PO only. But in my new project, I came to know that CPI has been used. Then I started exploring that what is CPI, how it works. And I understood something about this CPI. And uh, I hope this will also be really helpful to you guys. So I thought to share a video with this with you. Fine, so we'll go to the CPE today only and we will see the difference between SAP P and SAP PIPO versus SAP CPI. What the difference between these two different integration middlewares? So I took some, some images from Google. Hope it will be very helpful to you. As said earlier, the CPI has been introduced in 2012 and it has a very high demand in current cloud based systems and if we know the basic programming knowledge then it's, it's very easy to understand and easy to learn also and as I said it's a cloud based program and it will help to automate the business process in an easier way 
and moreover this cloud integration not only with the uh, nano cp systems it will be used to connect to the on premise apps cloud apps right and uh, bp business partners public authorities and uh, social networks and mobile apps so any apps any network apart from sap the definitely we can go ahead and use this sap cloud based platform integration this is simply about this sap cpi now we will see what will be the difference between sap pi po versus sap cpi why we should go to sap cpi why can't we still stick to that old one sap pi or po now let's see the difference between these two okay let me add sap pi rpo and sap cpi okay the first difference is that sap pi rpo is on premise version and sap cpi is cloud so on premise means everything will be built in customer location only it's a customized platform and cloud means it's a predefined sap best practices has been given how to utilize this one there are some instructions are there we can use that and pre configured adapters everything is available there so on premise is sap pi po and sap cpi is cloud based integration okay the second difference is that sap pi po is a not modern one it's a old one only as we know that and uh, cpi is a new platform as sap pi po is a not modern one means it's a old uh, integration process tool it is well matured platform right that means we have so many forums are available to check if we receive any kind of issues if something not working when we do some configurations in a pi po end then we can get an help suggestion from sap also we can google it so several sources are available to fix that issues because it's a old one if you take a cpi is a new platform now only all the organizations started using this one so it's very difficult to get support from them this is one of the challenge we have in case of p and po the no, no, not modern one and the new platform and uh, as pi po is in on premise it has complex and challenging to develop whereas cpi is a simplified development so if you if you want to develop anything in pi po then that uh, consultant should have a good technical knowledge if i have the programming knowledge i can easily develop something in sap pi po because it requires in deep understanding of the platform and the integration framework as well whereas in cpi a simplified development environment and that will work based on the graphical tools so if you imagine that uh, in our uh, screen development in sap we can simply use the drag and drop radio button we can add input 
and drop down we can easily drag and drop and design it and another example i can give you is that adobe forms in adobe form also we will be using this adobe life cycle tool to design that complete pdf document by drag and drop something like this right that is so much user friendly but yeah similar way cpa also like this only easy to develop and understand and uh, sap pipo is an less expensive whereas cpa is an more expensive the reason here is that the cpa works based on that uh, cloud based deployment and uh, the additional feature that it offers as everything is pre configured that's why it is a little bit a little bit uh, costlier than sap PANPO. So these are the uh, main differences that I have observed in terms of SAP PANPO and SAP CPA. A nutshell, I can say that CPA is a better choice for organizations that are uh, looking for a modern cloud based integration platform with simplified development no complex development nothing like that, right everything so it's, it's kind of an so if you if i want to prepare some chapati i i don't need to prepare the dough okay put water and mix it not required i can directly go to the shop they will be packed that uh, chapati right they have prepared the chapati and uh, bring that and just uh, put it in the pan and uh, heat it and eat it right like this CPA is in already everything is done we just need to bring it and use it kind of thing so nowadays everyone going for CPA only so I would like to share this knowledge with you guys and one more reason that I'm going that I'm sharing this video is that I'm going to discuss uh, one uh, real-time scenario client requirement which is works based on the CPA integration only so before that video i want to give some overview of the cpi that's why i discussing this video with you guys if you have any comments if you like my video please like it do comment if i want to improve anything from my end and please do subscribe therefore this channel will reach to many people who want to learn scpsd in technical point of view Thank you friend, bye for now.